covered in ink when you're done stamping for the day or getting smudges on your project or having that annoying line of ink around your stamped image? If so, I have a tip to share that I think may help you. Most of the time, the problems are all starting when you ink your stamp. So let's take a look at how the proper way is to ink a stamp and see if this can avoid you some frustration. I find that many stampers think that to get a good coverage of ink on the stamp, it is required to do a lot of pressing on the ink pad. Now, when you have inked your stamp, if it looks like this, this is very possibly the cause of those inky fingers, smudges on your cards, and that extra line around your stamped image. So let me bring this in. I'm going to stamp real quick. Now, if I stamp with light pressure, I don't rock my block, I can get a really nice stamped image. But let me show you what happens if I press a little too hard at the top and I didn't get it. Let's try it again. A little too hard at the top. I got that extra line around there. And when you have smaller stamps, such as this one, I'll do a little stamping with here in a little bit. Uh, it is much, much easier to end up with that line around the edge. And it just drives you crazy, doesn't it? You work so hard on this. And then that happens and you have to figure out how to cover it up or start over or something. Okay. So let me show you how to ink your stamp to avoid all of this extra ink around the edges. So real quick, I wanna clean this up. I'm going to bring in my very well-loved chamois. Now, one of the other things that can cause ink all over your fingers is the cleaning tool you're using for your stamps. If you use baby wipes, you should do a little test sometime and just do some observation how much of that ink ends up on your fingers when you are cleaning your stamps. If you use a tool like the chamois or another one of my favorites, the stamp and scrub that has a wet side and a dry side just to rub your stamps on, it really can help to keep your hands a lot cleaner when you're stamping. Okay, now let's look at the way to ink your stamp so that you don't end up with all that extra ink. And here's what it is, just set it on the surface. Now I do like to move it around a few times, do tap, tap the stamp on the ink pad a couple of times in different spots. That way, if you have uneven ink coverage on your stamp pad, it kind of blends it out on the stamp and hopefully you have even coverage on the stamp. So I was trying to think of a saying that I could come up with to help you remember, do not push, do not put pressure on your stamp when you are inking them up. And here's what I came up with at rest is best. Okay. It's at rest. It is going to be, I have not done any pressing. I tapped it around a couple of times, no pressure, no pressing. And let's stamp this and see how it looks. Okay. Looks perfect. At rest is best, my friends. Now, if you're finding that you don't get enough ink on your stamp with this method, then you probably need to re-ink your stamp pad. Okay. So let's try this with a smaller one because here with these smaller ones and then especially the narrow skinny ones, it's really easy to rock back and forth when you do your stamping. So if you ink lightly, I can't really let this one sit here by itself because it's going to fall over, but I can just support it on the sides, tap it a couple of times. Looks like it is inked well. The other thing you want to do to avoid those lines above or below or around your stamp image, you want to make sure you keep the block flat and apply even coverage. So I'm going to try to do this right now with this block in my hand and then I'll show you an easier way to do it here in just a second. Okay, so here I didn't rock it back and forth. Now I did get just a touch of extra ink up there above my stamped image. So if I rock this very much or press too hard at the top and not enough e evenly across the surface, I do get that line there, okay? So here is another way to avoid that line. One is just to ink your stamp very, very lightly. But the other thing you can do to, if you struggle getting even pressure is to use a really, really handy tool the Stamparatus. Now, if you want more details on the Stamparatus, I'm going to link you in the video description below to the video I did all about this really amazing tool. 
But what I can do here is attach it to the rotating plate, lightly ink up my stamp. And with this tool, I don't have to worry about pressing too hard unless I am really, really working hard to put a lot of pressure on there. Now, the other thing that is really amazing about this tool, and you may have just seen it right there, uh, I lift it up and then I drop the plate a little bit. It did not smudge this. Now, let's say I didn't get a perfect image the first time, like I didn't get ink on part of my stamp, so then I need to re-ink and stamp again. You re-ink, you stamp again, it's in the exact same place. So this is another thing that can really help to get nice, precise images. Thanks for watching along, friends. If you enjoy tip videos, I really encourage you to click on my channel name below, Scrapping, Stamping, and Stuff with Anna Hellman. You will find yourself at my channel. Scroll down and right there at the top will be my card making tips and tricks playlist. You can watch card making tips all day long. I appreciate you. I would love for you to subscribe if you are new here. I hope you have a blessed day and I hope you'll be back again next time when I'll be here helping you to hand make with love.